Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Randall M. Roof, Christian, member of the East Columbus Christian Church in Columbus, Indiana. And I'm here in the home office in Tedesville, Indiana, and I thought I would give you a brief overview of the sermon we had today at church. Uh, this is the bulletin. Uh, give me a wide view there. Um, they're doing a series, Ron's doing a series called Made for Mission. And the website for the church is eastccc.net. And of course, the phone number is 812-372-3789. If you're in the Columbus, Indiana area or just uh, want to get some more information, either way, you can go to, you know, give us a call or uh, go to the website. Today is Sunday, June 30th, 2019. And on the back, we have some uh, main points of the sermon. Uh, again, this is made for mission number two. Uh, I wasn't there last week because I was feeling under the weather. Still a little sick, but glad I made it today. Um... It's always based on a Bible verse, or in this case, uh, a chapter of the Bible, uh, Luke, uh, chapter nine, and the the main points of the mission, or the mission, the main points of the sermon were the mission, and the mission is comfort or Jesus. That was the first one. In other words, are you going to be comfortable, or are you going to serve Jesus? Because there, uh, the fact is, a lot of times when you serve Jesus, you're going to have to give up your comfort, and the encouragement is to realize that hey. Serving Jesus is more important than your comfort. Um, the second one mission uh, is the mission of commitment. In other words, you have to be committed to the cause and doing what you need to do for Jesus. It's more important. And the third mission uh, here we talked about is competition. In other words, there are other things that compete against the mission of Jesus. So we need to uh, be aware that the competition's out there and set our focus on serving uh, our Lord and Savior. Now, another thing we talked about, uh, a point, uh, was the fact that there's a lot of distractions and discouragement. Distractions and, and discouragement both can be a, a negative influence. Uh, and this was something I'd never heard before, but it, it's um, something to think about. It says, I wrote down bad uh, slash busy. And one of the sticking points was uh, of the mission. Uh, the main uh, points was, you know, Satan tries to deter us from uh, continue, not only continuing our walk with Christ, but uh, to stop us from helping others to go to Christ. And you know, the the saying he had was, if Satan can't make us bad, he'll make us busy. So in other words, if 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 Satan knows, hey, he's a Christian, or she's a Christian. And I can't deter them from helping other people uh, in a way that will turn them bad. Maybe I can do it by making them busy, giving them activities and things that will distract them from doing what uh, our Lord and Savior wants us to do. So the idea was that, you know, if Satan can't make you a bad person, he'll make you a busy person. So we need to keep the, you know that in mind, especially when we think about... Uh, distractions and discouragement. And of course you got the picture it says you were made for a mission called to live a life bigger than yourself. This is your calling. This is your life. If you're a Christian I encourage you to uh, keep doing what you know you need to do. Uh, go up to God in prayer and uh, continue to read his word and uh, do what you know you need to do. So I'm hoping you will, uh, this will, little video will tell you a little bit about our church and a little bit about, will encourage you in some ways to continue to do what uh, our Lord and Savior wants you to do. So until next time, I'm Randall M. Roof saying thanks for watching. Have a good day. May God bless you.